Hello and welcome to EGEE 101. Uh, I'm Brandon Schwartz. I'll be teaching the course this semester. Uh, very excited to have you in the class. I've taught uh, somewhere north of 3,000 students uh, EGEE 101 over the years and uh, I'm excited to teach it to you. So uh, what I want to do now is just give a, a real brief uh, introduction on what the course uh, is and what your expectations should be. So, so what we talk about in in EGEE 101 is is energy and the environment. We 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 talk about energy choices uh, and their environmental impact. Sometimes it's things that that you wouldn't think of right away. So, for example, uh, right now about forty percent of the world's electricity uh, comes from burning coal. And so we'll talk about uh, why that is, but you know, it's worth asking yourself, why, why in the world, how in the world do we burn coal to produce electricity? And, and as I said, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. Um, the, there's lots of environmental impacts from any energy choice. And so we'll go over those uh, pros and cons of, of different choices. Um, uh, but we'll start off with just an introduction about, you know, an overview of energy in, in the world today and uh, where energy use is going uh, in the 21st century. So, but uh, for now, we'll just look at some of the course expectations. So, uh, if you've seen the syllabus, then you'll know that we have several ways to give you feedback throughout the semester. Uh, the, the main one that you'll be thinking of probably is midterms. Um, uh, they're called midterm exams in the, the syllabus, and they are exams. Uh, I, I prefer to think of them as really hard quizzes. And the reason for that is you, if you're imagining a traditional sit at a desk with a pencil and paper and take an exam, it's, it's not really like that. And it, all of the midterms will be uh, 40 questions, multiple choice. You'll take them through Canvas. And I'll give you more information about that, you know, as the semester progresses. But uh, what you're looking at here, as far as the class structure, is the units, and so you can kind of get a sense for for uh, for how we've structured the class. So the first thing we'll do is talk about introduction to energy, what energy is, power, uh, efficiency, which we'll you know we'll define later. Uh, so that's midterm one. You'll notice it only covers two units. So the good news for you is that there's not a lot of material that you would need to study for in order to complete midterm one successfully. The second midterm covers the three fossil fuels and climate change as, as a group of as a common theme. And then midterm three covers uh, nuclear energy, wind energy, solar energy, and hydropower. So as you can see, the midterms aren't cumulative, meaning they only test you on uh, content from each of those sections. Um, but the final exam is cumulative. Um, so by the time you get to the final exam, you will need to understand uh, the entire course. And as far as ways that we grade you, the, the first is on a, on a weekly basis, every lesson, uh, we have participation points scattered throughout. And so as you look at the text and uh, video for each lesson, at some point you'll come to breaks where there'll be interactive content included that will uh, prompt you with a question that you will then answer, usually multiple choice true, false. If you get it right, that's that's great. If you get it wrong, that's fine too, because usually the, the very next uh, slide in that interactive content will be an explanation for, for what, what you did wrong in, if the, in the event that you did get it wrong. You get unlimited attempts, so you should get all 10% of the uh, participation points available in this course. Another 10% of your grade will be pre-class activities, which are going to be completed on Canvas. And the, the idea behind these is to give you a really quick, brief introduction to the content of the next week, just a little bit in advance. We'll talk about things that you've probably never even thought of before. Maybe you've never had an opportunity to think much about wind energy, but you've always wanted to. So the questions in that pre-class activity will just be thought-provoking uh, questions on wind energy. Uh, there will be six homework assignments, and these are going to, they're going, going to be a little bit harder than the pre-class activities, which are a little bit harder than the participation points, um, and you usually have two weeks to complete those, and those six assignments are worth 30% of your grade, so about uh, uh, five points for each one.
Uh, the three midterms are worth a total of 30%. And as I said, you'll have 60 minutes to complete 40 multiple choice questions. Um, it's not given at a specific time. It's given on a specific day. Uh, and you can see the dates for the midterms in your syllabus. Once you access the midterm, you'll have 60 minutes to complete it. But you can access it any time throughout the day that it's offered. And then, of course, there's one final exam, which is similar in content to the midterms, but just longer. OK, so as far as the lesson format, every week you'll log into Canvas. You'll go to the module that we're doing that week or, or unit. There's 12 of them. Um, there's no textbook required. Everything's on Canvas. Um, if we have any external uh, readings or resources, we will link to them in the Canvas lesson. Um, as I said, there's 12 units, uh, which is basically 12 weeks. If you look at orientation taking one week, 12 weeks of lessons, that means you will probably have uh, two weeks uh, at the end of the semester that you uh, will probably mostly spend doing final exam preparation. And we might have some, some live um, exam prep if that's something that you express interest in. But as far as during the regular part of the semester, each unit's got two or three lessons. You'll notice that these lessons are a mixture of text, uh, figures, like, like graphs, some example problems, uh, some short lectures similar to this video lecture here, and also some open source videos. So the idea is to give you a really good overview using all of these different media types of, of each lesson's content. Again, the participation points are scattered throughout each lecture, so you need to really make sure you view each page of each lesson in order to, to not miss any of those participation points. Uh, and then certainly if you have any questions, you know, I am available uh, through email at any time. So that's all that I wanted to talk about uh, today. I'm really happy to have you in the course. Welcome, and uh, we'll get started.